name is Nick Serator. I'm the Exhibitions Director for the Renovitz Art League. Well, the main part of choosing an ex uh, exhibition for the Art League, which we do the year prior to a new year, is that we put out a call for entry. And the call for entry is both open to both members and non-members. So basically, we invite people in to submit a proposal, whether it's a solo or a group exhibition, both are welcome. And then, after a deadline date, the Exhibitions Committee reviews the applications. Each member gets to judge, you know, it's like a point system. And then we get together and we discuss our, our decisions and we take a, kind of like take a vote on uh, who gets in, who makes, who makes the cut for the exhibition season. But in addition to that, there are also some spaces where I will curate a show or invite a guest curator in for special exhibitions. We try to achieve uh, diversity. We try to achieve uh, exhibitions that kind of represent more than just one medium. We kind of, we want to encourage people to apply for these shows. We want to see what they're doing, we like progressive art. We also look for traditional art as well. We try to have a well-rounded season. We like to have a, a mix of different talents different ideas, things that our audience hasn't seen before. There's different levels of membership. You know, we have student, right into individual, we have dual, we have households, and there's memberships beyond that. It's really easy, www.wherewithartly.org, where you can come right to our facility and we can sign you up. But it's more than just showcasing your art here. You also, we have education throughout the year. So being a member has its benefits, you know, those candle classes. We also have other events here that artists can participate in, such as our outdoor show. We have our fine art and fine craft outdoor show every August. It's two weekends in a row. It's always the first and second weekend. So we have a lot of opportunities. We have a holiday fair. We have a jewelry trunk show. We have cottage tours. So there's a lot of things that we offer for our members. We also engage people to come volunteer. We have a lot of people who come here just to be a part of it and they help us out. We have a thing in our homestead where we rely on our docents to keep it open, but we do engage the community also by giving back. We have outreach programs. We have a wonderful showcase of children's art from K to 12 called Young at Art. So it's not just us people coming to the Art League, the Art League also reaches out to them. A lot of our members this is a facility where they know they're welcome. You know, not everyone's in a gallery, not everyone's have a major museum exhibitions. This is a place where all are accepted. Uh, we encourage our artists, we showcase our artists. So that's one thing that you can expect from us. There's such a gratifying affirmation when you sell your first piece. And, you know, the look on their faces when they bring this stuff in, they're just happy to see it hung. But also they feel part of a, an arts community. And I think that's very important for anyone who joins this, this league. And it's just not for artists too, it's for patrons of the art, people who appreciate art. So with our programming, we have a little bit for everybody. We're going 85 years strong. So um, we're very proud of the accomplishments of the league and also again, very proud of our artists. I think through program, education, exhibitions, I think the R League will live on for quite, quite, quite some time.